Oski wasn't at the office, so I decided to stop by Kachiki Hospital next. Well, the hospital would have definitely been closed out patients, since it was New Year's Eve and all. There would still have to be staff around to watch the inpatients. And Humi at Kachiki would likely be there too, seeing as he was the director. Should I tell him about Shin Katsuragi's new book? Or should I wait until I know more about what's going on? She didn't ask me not to give her any more updates, but I felt that Fumi I should know there'd been a new development in the case. That said, my thoughts were still a jumbled mess. The trip over hadn't fixed that one bit. Guess all I can do is let nature run its course. I bumped into Kahara as I was just about to step inside. どうも。山田内先生。まさきさんをお迎えにいらしたんですか？いや。え、あいつ来てるんですか？うん。先ほど廊下におりましたよ。which meant he'd probably come by to give Chizuta back her film. I thought it would have looked odd if I'd asked about if I asked about Chizuta, so I inquired about Fumi instead. It took all my willpower not to heave a sigh of relief on the spot. Got her placed her index finger to her mouth and left. Uh, I took she didn't want me making any noise in a hospital filled with nothing but impatients. Reasonable request, really. At any rate, I took a little trek down the hallways within. Quickly discovered why she'd really made that request. Masuki and Michiru were leaning against each other on a bench, sleeping. If Masuki had been the only one conked out, I would have kicked his ass awake. Michiru started to open her eye. Yeah. Ohio. Ohio. Michiru rubbed her eye and stood up. Then Masuki careening onto the bench. <laughs> the knit was snapped away. Oh, Even Mitsu joined in on the roasting. Yeah, the blame on her. Huh. Yeah, I should be giving him more credit. Getting photos of Hitogata around the time of those incidents. Maybe those could be a lead. That wasn't the time or place to discuss that sort of thing. お前は年明けから典型会について調べてほしい。典型会。仕草神社と何らかのつながりがあると考えられる。まずは手探りでいいからやっと。具体的にはどうすればいいんでしょうか。そうだな。後で考えよう。And how should I do that? ああ、またくるよ。良いお年を。バイバイ。ちょっとアスプラでミチェルさんさあ、ウェーブ。確か、井の頭公園近くにある神社が連携会に開催されているはずだ。そうか。ありがとう。井の頭公園近くの神社だ
I passed through the living room and peeked into the kitchen. Yukari, ただいま。あ、お帰りなさいませ。お疲れ様でした。今日は何鍋だ？シャモ鍋にしました。年末で安くなっていたんですよ。そいつはいいな。ニンニクを多めに入れてくれよ。ダメですよ。今日は女性のお客さんもいるんですから。<laughs> so、it tastes so good. In the end, it wouldn't be much skin off my back, though. Chicken hot pot was still pretty good on its own. It was more than happy to get out the sweaty clothes I'd been wearing since I left Ayama. My room was clean as a whistle, just like Yukari had said. Minus one foreign body sitting on the floor. Masaki. Masaki got up and left the room. Same gone, I put my bag down and changed into something comfortable. Unfortunately for my lazy ass, though, I couldn't just leave my dirty laundry around when Yukari was going to be cooking in here. Thus, I dumped it all in the hamper before returning to the living room. Yukiko and Kohane were writing something together. Look at the paper revealed it read Elizabeth, it is in vain you say, Love not thou sayest in so sweet a way. In vain those words from thee or L E L, Zentipe's talents had forced so well. Ah,、uh, if that language from thy heart arise, breath it less gently forth and veil thine eyes. Endymion, recollect when Luna tried to cure his love, was cured of all beside his folly, pride, and passion, for he died. Mukashi, Yukiko chanta, son dan desio. Oriku de ango, tsukte mi tari ste. So tata kas. Yukiko cocked her head. Iroha uta ni fukumare te iru no wa. とがなくてシスという言葉だね。これは後世のこじつけと言われているよ。そうなんですか。マスキーエンジェルルームジョインドカンバーセーション。いろは歌に限らず、どうということのない文章をうがった見方をして考えるのは。お兄さんは物知りなんですね。Shut up. ただ本の虫なだけですよ。You could have brought out the hot pot ingredients. マサキさん、七輪を兄の部屋へお願いします。あ、はい。Oski temporarily retreated to the kitchen before returning with the brace in question. Nisan, a skiaki on a tetsnabe o monte k a s a So, sim by Shinaktomo died. It was already dark out by the time we got the hot pot in my room. Nisan, a rehodo cobosana yoni to e musta yon, eh? What a musaka. Turned out the pot was hotter than hell since you could have been heating the skiaki stock in it. So I got startled and accidentally spilled a little. The sun had already set by the time I was done cleaning the floor and getting chewed out by Yukari. Ma, ma, you shook me, chodo ye, jikantaini natan da kara ye, janai deska. Even this guy tried to defend me, only served to piss me off. Skiaki? Shut up. Connie studied the pot filled only with stock. Skoshi wa ni teiru ka mo shire masen ne. Mazu wa warista de shamoniku o nirun desu. You could put chicken in the bubbling pot, stirring it with chopsticks so only its surface cooked. Higa hai tara yasai o irete, nitata sereba wari des. Yasai wa futsu no skiaki to hobo naji des ne. That would be onions, mushrooms, crown daisies, konjac noodles, and tofu. Shimeji. Ah! Kayahara san wa kinoko ga nigata des taka? Yukiko frantically shook her head at the question. Mmm. Daishobu. Her exact didn't look that way to me. Yukiko chan wa tori niku daijobu datta no? Shut up. Tabu. Chicken finished cooking as they were talking. Yukari subsequently added the vegetables with skills that make a professional chef blush. Nii san, o hits kara gohan o yosotte itadake masu ka? Ah, what? Hikkuri kaesa nai de kudasai ne? Gee, thanks. I was nervous before, I sure am now. Fortunately, I managed to carry out the task without incident. I even gave Yukiko a little extra since she didn't look entirely sold on the hot pot. She shot me a humiliated glare. So, 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 so,
ええ今日は奮発して無骨系の卵ですよすごく高いんじゃなかったちょうど特売の時間に買い物へ行きましたから どうですかよくそりゃそんなちょっとだけじゃわからないわよ。カネサイドエクザスプレイドリー。キミタチワムカシカラトモダシダトノカイ。That was the impression I got at least. ユキオズレスポンスは、ずっとちっちゃな頃のことですけどね。では、近所に住んでいたのかなそうですね。いつも一緒にいましたよ。そうだったわね。The ambiguity only thickened. Then again, Kawane said this was back when they were really little, so maybe they'd forgotten a lot of it. ほら、ユキコちゃん、ネギも柔らかくて美味しいよ。ん下にたネギですから、甘みもありますよ。Boy, you could have really didn't cut any corners, did she? We returned to the living room after finishing dinner and cleaning up. Clock hands were pointing just past nine. Onisa, radio つけてもいいですか Ah, come on, are you? Wanna reach for the radio on the shelf and switched it on. s t u r n e d it until we could hear music and singing. So, ka. Kohaku, utagasen ka. Telebi demo ya t e l e m i t a e s k e t ne. Sadly, we didn't have one of those fancy doodads. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. <laughs> Yukio made a tiny sound. <laughs> Yukio turned to Yukiko just as she got up to answer the door. <laughs> Yukio nodded and made for the door. I knew Yukiko's mother, so I saw no harm letting her inside. Yukio hastily got to her feet and tried to don her coat. I pointed to Masaki. Eh? Jibundesco? Come on, I don't know. それも考えたんだから。冬タイヤがないんだよ。The idea of doing rear wheel driving on a snowy night had me scared shitless, truth be told. Especially with passengers in the back. はあ、わかりましたよ。マスキーなどに resignation。あ、いい匂いが残ってる。Those are Huyumi's first words when she stepped in my home. <笑>先ほどまでお鍋をしていましたから。あらいいわね。She shot me a look for some reason. 全部こいつが食って残っていませんよ。I pointed to Masaki. なんで自分なんですか。<笑>そっか残念。ところでそちらの方は。Uyumi gestured to Masaki. あ、自分はただの紐ですよ。違いますよ。<笑> Masaki vehemently denied my claims. 自分は。探偵の助手などをしています。ユキコの母の茅原冬美です。They bowed to one another. そうじゃですが、どうぞ。You could have brought out several packets worth of tea. ありがとう。おとといはどうもありがとうね、鳥居さんも。いえ、楽しかったですよ。Shut up. Go on and smile. 何かやったのか Confused, I turned to you, Kuri. ええ、茅原さんが勤めていらっしゃる保育所で。She asked me to do the same thing a while back. Honton, it has Karimasta. You got it on there, cause that no cake and warren this call. I don't know, can I just show up? Has she forgotten the part where you could eat and her daughter were the same age? Uchi de Azakati, the code, Nakanaka Natskana, Yakachanga, Irun deskido, Yukari Changa Dakto, Sungi Naki and on this yo. Ma Kajia Nanka and Naritamaskarne. Soreto a chotto chigato mokido. Fumi smiled dryly. Tokoro de Uchinoko. 
きちんとお鍋食べてました好き嫌いが多くて困ってるのよ。満足に食べられない時代だってあったのにね。それだけ社会が豊かになったということですよ。そうね。10年くらい前は好き嫌いなんて言って。フーミスフェイスフェイス。フーミスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスフェイスどうもありがとうございました。うちのマサキに送らせますよ。エボマサキ。あ、はい。そこまでしていただかなくても大丈夫ですよ。どうせ自分も帰らないといけませんから。マサキ、ガラップンガブディスコート。それじゃあ、ユキコ、帰るわよ。ええ。またね、ユキコちゃん。良いお年を。良いお年を。さよなら。The three of them left together. Brief silence hung over the living room. Tori san wa tomate eku no datta ne. Gome wak ja na kereba. Shinpai iri masen yo. Yukuri smiled. Ore wa soro soro hikkomu to suru yo. Go yukkuri dozo. Rose to my feet and retired to my room, leaving those parting words behind. I sat on a floor cushion and took a deep breath. Drysness hit me like a brick once I relaxed. That was for the best. This way, I could forget everything that was currently tormenting me. Nisan, o f u r o wakas de okimasta no de. You could have suddenly poked your head into my room. Mm, ma, wakata. I got up even though I'd been planning to go straight to bed. If there was any night to cleanse myself, it was New Year's Eve. Ano, Nisan. My sister suddenly took a step forward. Do sta. She sounds serious, so I gave her my full attention. Ano, honga. カツラギシンのだろそうでしたか。You could have looked relieved. Doji's judgment had been right on the money. I definitely would have been anywhere near this calm if I'd only found out about it right now. お前が気に病むことじゃないよ。ですが。いいんだ。I gave her a gentle tap on the shoulder. ろ、入ってくるよ。Thus I headed for the bath, leaving Yukari looking even more concerned than she'd already been. では、今までご実家に帰られていたんですか実家といっても、もう、とうの昔に縁を切ったところですが。I just love the location in the top left, road. We don't know what general area they're in, we just know they're on a road. Masuki and Huyumi were chatting on the way back. Yukio was silently following them. At some point, Masuki had begun telling Huyumi about himself. いろいろと面倒な家でしてね。せっかく逃げ出したというのに見つけられて大変でした。マスキー left out the parts where he'd murdered someone was not the center of a series of killings, of course. So they wanted someone to vent to. それでもこちらにいるということはご実家には許されたということですよね。<笑>どうでしょうかね。そんな簡単に諦めたりはしないと思いますが。These were the Hinagamis he was talking about, after all. With Masuki as their only potential successor, they probably wouldn't let him slip through their fingers so easily. トヤマの冬はいかがでしたかいつも通りでしたよ。相変わらず雪が多くて難儀しましたが。あちらは春先まで雪が残っていますからね。毎年3月の頭に祭りがあるんですが、神社まで続いている石段はいつも雪が固まってるんです。お年寄りが多い地域では大変です。まあ、ろくな祭りじゃないんですが。宗教のしきたりやら伝統やらを守っていかないとならない家だったんですよ。宗教にはまって周りが見えなくなった人は恐ろしいですからね。フィミーズ・ボイスは、何かあったんですか私も一時期そういったところにお世話になっていたことがありましたから。でも。ああ。フィミー・トゥン・ラン・ハグ・ユキコ。そのおかげでこの子と出会いましたから。Interesting. So if we're going to a what no 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 no
I'm guessing she must have been connected to the Wayno Shrine in some way then. Cause I'm like, there, there's no shot that she was like the original Satsuki or something. It's like, of course not. Obviously she would have ne recognized Ayato immediately. They would have recognized each other. Like, oh, that was a very stupid thought to pop into my head, but I think she has some connection to Sinri then. I'm assuming. Even Masuki could tell from far away that Yukio's face was red as a tomato. Jimmy's words had a hint of cynicism to them. If Masuki had to guess, she probably hadn't shared the beliefs of those zealots she'd mentioned. To her, they'd likely been nothing more than pragmatic tools for her survival. Yukio fled Huimi's bear hug. <laughs> they crossed the tracks of the Chuo line that cut across Musashino and proceeded to onward toward Jindaiji. The JNR station was relatively close by. So I heard a voice. Ah, Tokisaka san, Kisashibri. Ha, it only took me a second to realize I was dreaming. It was nothing more than a recreation of her voice from those days long past. Yeah, as we can tell, she has limbs. The fact that this Toka had all of her limbs was proof. Yeah, thank you. Ne, Tokisaka san, Nanda. I answered the voice that echoed around me. It's an inatara. Uh, my breath hitched despite knowing this was all in my head. Toko's body started breaking apart. Her legs slid off and her arms crumbled to pieces, robbing her of all her limbs. Toko! Toko was fading away. I reached my hand out as far as it could stretch. It has still failed to reach her. Toko! Toko! <laughs> I lurched out of my hutan. Seconds later, I clutched my head. It was just a dream. I knew that. I knew that. Yet I couldn't stop shaking. It's been well over a year and a half since Toko had vanished from the hospital. The police and I had done everything in our power to locate her. They were no closer to finding her than the day we started. One second. Well over a year and a half. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I just go back to my initial theory of that baby at Huyumi's nursery is Toko's baby. I just, because the shed had just turned a year old, and it's, he says it's been a year and a half since she disappeared, and then the pregnancy was like six months after the disappearance, so it would have been roughly a year to the day then. Yeah. Yeah. The police and I had done everything in our power to locate her, yet we were no closer to finding her than the day we'd started. These nightmares were nothing new. In fact, I had them every single night last year. They'd shown me some mercy starting this year, but that didn't mean they'd left entirely. I checked the clock. It was 2.50 a.m. Nearly three hours had passed since the start of 1958, meaning last year was actually two years ago, while this year was now last year. I wiped the sweat off my brow. It was fridges as an ice cap outside my covers, yet I was soaked with sweat. Her name was... Her name passed through my clenched teeth. 
That book must have triggered this whole thing. I reached for the copy of The Sheep of Purgatorio on my desk. I'd gone out and bought it at a bookstore that was still open on New Year's right after Toji had filled me in, but I still hadn't checked it out. Reading it would be pointless. I didn't know why, but my gut told me I likely wouldn't find any clues about Toko's whereabouts in there, even if I did. It was nothing more than a book, after all. A work of fiction. And again, it might have been some sort of autobiography, like The Shell of Sheol. However, uh, however, others' reactions told me that probably wasn't the case. Not even the leaflet inside talked about the story itself. It merely emphasized that this was a novel from a fugitive serial killer. In other words, the story itself didn't mean a damn thing. I put the book back on my desk. It was too late to start reading anyway. I rested my head against my pillow and staring at the ceiling. No, 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 no. That's going to come back, though. Because, remember when they were talking about the acrostic poems, Reiji said something like, oh, people have been finding ways to hide secret message and, you know, literature and sentences for, you know, this very long time. And now he has this book. This book that seemingly is just a regular story. There's nothing really outside the ordinary of it. It's just your regular story. There's nothing off about it. But I'm willing to bet there's some kind of fucking secret message within the book. For the past two years, I've been running around without any clues like a headless chicken. Took a deep breath. I need to make up my mind. Do I see the serial killing case through to the end? Or throw it all away to look for Toko. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. What do you mean I can't fucking save? Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna finish the fucking job. I can't just abandon the case. I looked for Toko, but only after I'd seen the Lord Hina serial killing case through to the very end. Wasn't that a choice we got last time in the first game? Where he's like, do I just pass off this case and go searching on my own or do I look further into it? I feel like that was a choice at some point. And then also that was one of the endings in Cartagra too, where he just says, yeah, fuck, I'm done with the case. I'm going off. I'm just going to go off and do my own thing now. I love how these stories all have a moment where just like, you know what? Fuck this case. I got other things I want to do. I'd look for Toko, but only after... Yeah, I heard that. All I could do was to draw the curtain on it as soon as possible. Gorniche 6. Gluttony. January 1st. She sat all alone on a wooden floor. Her head remained bowed the whole time. She dared not move or make a sound. Not after she'd been instructed to keep her mouth closed. They claimed that words led people astray, and that therefore the truth could only be expressed through silence. Not that there'd ever been anyone here to speak with anyway. She'd been told this was a ceremony to celebrate New Year's, and yet she saw no signs of that whatsoever. There were no lavish decorations, just a cold floor that generated a chill that permeated the entire room. Suddenly, she heard someone approaching. Since her head was lowered, she couldn't see them. Just a blurry reflection moving across the floor. They appeared to be wearing a white robe. She wondered if she should greet them. However, she refrained after remembering her orders. The figure didn't say a word either. All that passed between them was time. The figure spoke. Ryan struggled to piece together the rest of his unfinished, unfinished sentence. She did as she was asked, raising her upper body. The man before her nodded to himself. She didn't recognize him. She had no choice but to agree. Though she came all this way just to see him, there wasn't much she could do if he was busy. She bowed and stood up. Her knees ached from kneeling on the floor for so long. Thus she left the room slowly so he wouldn't notice. Yukari sat on the floor and silently bowed to me when I entered the living room that morning. Yukari got up and straightened out her kimono. 
今年はきちんとした生活を心がけていこうと思いますそうか頑張れよ<笑>兄さんもですよ My sister sought my affirmation with a smile. What h e l I e a t i n g a m b a t e s h i g o t o s t e r u n d a k a s h i g o t o n i t u i t e k u c h i d a s u r u t s m o r i w a r i m a s e n a s e m e t e a s k i can take care of the latter. What does the m a i r u a k o r e k a r a k o h a n e t a c h t o h a t s m o d e n i m a r i m a s n o d e y a t a i d e n a n i k a k a i r u k u r a i w a w a s i w a k a t o I produced a hundred yen coin out of my wallet and handed it to Yukuri. <laughs> Well, I've been jingling like crazy since I swapped my bills for coins not too long ago. So 100 yen was a small price to pay for some sanity. I visited the Kachiki residence in Mitaka around noon. Though I did want to wish them Happy New Year, I had ulterior motives as well. Specifically, I was hoping Chizuru Kachiki would show me the photo she took back in Hitogata all those years ago. That, plus, regale me with her account of her time spent there. <laughs> Tell me about the time you spent there. It's like, uh. <laughs> sure, she hadn't played a part in any of those incidents, but having an outsider's perspect perspective sounded valuable. Even if it was for an old murder I had no direct links to. I bowed to Chizuru and Fumia when I entered their living room. Say your greetings all around. Normally, this would have been the part where I made some chit chat, but I had nothing to discuss with them. Nothing that would have made things incredibly uncomfortable, anyway. Especially if you're concerned about what I learned yesterday. She s a i d just had a small box atop the desk. I opened the lid and found numerous old photographs piled within. They were all black and white and had scratches here and there, naturally. It seems she hadn't done a very good job of preserving them. t h o u g h t aren't surmised as much from the fact she didn't keep them in an album. I picked up a picture and studied it. It depicted Hidogata's landscape in the winter. The photo was blindingly white through all the snow, but the mountains looked exactly the same as they had on my visit a few days ago. Likewise, the buildings were very different. Nothing had changed in over a decade. Minus the people in the photos themselves, of course. s u z e t a pointed to a boy in a photo. He only somewhat resembled the man I knew. I wonder if I would have even recognized him had I not been interacting with him on a daily basis. I shuffled through the photos until I found one that came across as quite the spectacle, even in black and white. The photograph depicted the shrine grounds, packed with people and decked out with a modest row of stalls. It was a total world of difference from the deserted plaza I'd seen a few mere few days ago. So, this is the night that the curse of Lord Hina struck. There were several other photos of the festival, too. One of them showed a girl being dressed up in a cloak by a woman clad in shrine maiden robes. Another depicted Ayato and his friends munching on candied apples in front of a stall. Yep, there it is. We finally get to see the photo. There was. There was even a group photo of them all Karen Hinagami, Yu Futami, and Megari Takumiya. Though they were younger, I could still recognize them all. Furthermore, there was a girl in a kimono quietly kneeling next to them. Pointing to the only other boy in the group. So this is what he looks like. Though I'd heard his name, this was the first I'd actually seen of him, albeit in the form of a photo of his younger self. いざお話ししたあと少し調べてみたのですが、医師会などにも所属していないようで、どこにいるのかはわかりませんでした。Then, 
I regarded the cheeky siblings carefully as I waited their answer. ちょっとがらっとテクノロジーを持って撮影したものです。よろしければお持ちになってください。Musky made his way through the crowds of Inokushira Park. Okay, unfortunately, I am going to have to wrap it up here for today. I, god damn it. <laughs> I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but god, I'm hooked into this fucking story. I don't know what it is about this one specifically, about how it's being told that that's, I'm just like a lot more hooked into it than I was with the first game. Like, I don't know, this this one, I'm like anxiously awaiting all the answers. I'm constantly theorizing what could and could not be the case for certain uh, solutions to certain problems and whatnot. This one's been just a lot of fun. <laughs> and... I, like I said, I'm just very excited to see where this all ends up. I, I still solidly believe Nanako and Karen are at the heart of this. All right, I feel like there's like this triangle of Shizuru, Nanako, and Karen. I don't think Shizuru is responsible for killing them off. I don't. Because he's trying to pass off the family. He's trying to line up a successor for the family. And it would not make sense if he was ordering hits, especially when he's the one finding the candidates, right? Why would he go through all this effort finding the candidates just to then say, all right, now go kill them. Um, But clearly the fact that he's finding the candidates is something important. Oh. Oh, now hold up. So yeah, I just thought about that. We know that the brides are never told who the groom is going to be. And so yeah, we remember that Mayu said her grandmother had this picture of Shizuru, who I, well, who I assume is Shizuru. But I had this picture of someone who looked similar to Ayato. I'm guessing that was the case. I'm guessing that was a picture of Shizuru then. I don't know what that means in the broader scheme of things. That's just something that popped into mind. But yeah, I don't think Shizuru is responsible. I don't think he's the killer anyway. Well, obviously he couldn't be the killer because just from the Hitagata incident, we know he couldn't be the killer. And honestly, I don't think the current day killer is necessarily the same person as the uh killer in 1940 could be it very well could be right yo it could be nanako it couldn't have been karen because karen was out with her friends the whole night during the first during the first incident in this game in 1940 but a lot of suspicion has been cast on nanako and i feel like nanako is definitely involved but i feel like karen herself is also very much involved in this I'm I'm just very interested, and I am interested to see how this congregation of the blessed comes into play. Because it clearly does come into play at some point, right? Is that it's not just something they would mention just for there to be no payoff, right? Clearly, there's some connection here at some point. And also Naori. I feel like there's definitely something concerning Naori, at some point. Naori has involvement in all of this because there's a reason we haven't seen him yet. 
there's a reason they've been hiding him. There's a reason they haven't been showing us Naori yet. I feel like he plays a bigger part in this than we realize. I don't know exactly what part. And I feel like it's a part that's not even connected to a certain case. I'm I'm almost uh, convinced that Naori is actually involved in Toko's case. Not even involved in all the Hitogata murders and whatnot. But actually, well, the in the Hina murders, I should say. But actually involved in Toko's case. That's where my mind wants to believe he's actually at. Somehow involved in that. I don't know. I could sit here and theorize all day. I really could. Because I just, I love, I love how this story has set itself up. I really do. And I love waiting for every twist and turn. Because I'm just so excited for every new little piece of information that gets tossed my way. It genuinely excites me. I love it. But like I said, that is going to do it for this recording session. It's either going to be a quick transition or a new video. But I will see you on the next one. Till then. Peace.